So, just making a video here to explain how I built this uh, upside down uh, Briggs and Stratton here. Um, first uh, major concern, of course, was uh, oiling. So, uh, I got a, another block here. Um, what I did, I made the uh, made the valve spring chamber here uh, its own little uh, sealed unit. Uh, I plugged off the, uh, I guess it's the air breather hole there that usually goes to the carburetor. Put a plug in that, and then there's another big hole here that leads to the uh, crankcase. I plugged that, and there's also one little tiny hole that, uh, yeah, right there. This one right here. I plugged that one also. And then I, uh, when I had her all sealed up there, I, I added uh, a little bit of oil to it, about, um, I don't know, eight inch or so. Just enough to keep the, the valves and tappets uh, lubricated in there. So then when it's running upside down, um, piston moving back and forth does all the oiling along with the connecting rod and the crankshaft and everything else so it's uh, kind of a uh, self splash uh, lubricating there now I started up with very little oil in the engine because otherwise it would leak past the uh, piston rings and end up uh, in the combustion chamber drowned out the spark plug etc so I built this uh, little oil tank here and have a, uh, a ball valve on it there to shut it off so Basically, I fill it about two-thirds full of oil, and uh, once I get the engine started, then I open the ball valve up. Now, <clears throat> in the first video of it running there, it turns out that not much of the oil came out of here because I didn't take this vent off, and uh, I did that for a reason because I didn't want to have an oil geyser, but I am going to try that on a video just to see what actually happens. Now, you still need to let the uh, uh, blow-by gases out of the crankcase, so I put... Uh, this tube in here into the uh, normal uh, dipstick hole there. I drilled a hole in it and put that in so that it's got like a quarter inch hole for the crankcase gas to come out of and on the video I didn't really see too much coming out of there so apparently it, it works okay but uh, and then of course I had to make uh, brackets to hold the gas tank to them there and uh, hold that solidly and as well as uh, figure out some type of a base for it there. This three quarter inch plywood with steel angle and then I had to uh, brace it there with the, the uh, threaded rod. But uh, so all in all it uh, doesn't work too bad. But uh, I was just curious uh, how well one of them would run upside down and it appears that it seems to work okay. My object wasn't to try to run it with no oil. Um, I the components in the engine and the block itself are actually uh, good so I didn't want to score the cylinder up and smoke the connecting rod but uh, anyway uh, hope you enjoy the video of the upside down Briggs and we'll uh, catch you later with more projects in the future